In this video, I'm gonna walk you guys through how to create a carousel post on your Facebook business page. Now, I've made a couple videos demonstrating different ways of going about doing this on my channel, um, but this is the updated version for 2022. In addition to this, I'm also going to answer a few questions related to the carousel post uh, organically on your Facebook um, business page because I seem to get a lot of the same questions and this will possibly be the last video that I'll be making on this topic. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so in order to create a carousel post uh, in 2022, you're going to have to do it from publishing tools. So this is your Facebook business page and typically in the past, you could create a post and plug in your link that you wanted to uh, populate or upload images and carousel slides would show up. You can't no longer do that. Um, Facebook has changed that. So in order to bypass this, in order to actually post one, you have to do it from publishing tools. So if you see this post creation window that opens up, there is an option that I've got at the very bottom that says post scheduling is available through publishing tools. So if you wanna to get to publishing tools, you have to click publishing tools here or you can get to publishing tools from the left hand pane and go into publishing tools um, on the on the left hand pane there once you are in publishing tools this is what it's going to look like for the post section here what you want to do is click create post and this is going to open the interface where you can actually create a post now i want to show you a couple things because this is really important okay this screen that i'm looking at is the classic post creation screen. I know that some Facebook pages, depending on how they're set up uh, and depending if your account has been uh, rolled out to a new interface or not, you may not see exactly what you're looking at here. You have the option sometimes to see the new post creation, you know, screen that looks similar to what this is right here. You will not be able to create a carousel post in this new post creation screen. You're gonna have to switch to the classic one. So let me show you how this works. So if I go to uh, my website here um, and I take the link to my website, I wanna go back to this tool that lets me create a post. I wanna plug in my URL and I wanna hit enter. What you'll, you're gonna see here, what you're gonna notice is that it's gonna give you a one single image here. There's no option to add an additional image. There's no option to, you know, create, um, you know, anything else. You cannot create a carousel post from the new post creation wizard. In order to do this, you must switch to the classic one. And if you're on this new screen here, you want to click on the gear on the bottom left hand corner of that screen and choose the classic post creation tool. Once this screen shows up, you simply take the URL and you paste it in there. And now you have all the images that are actually linked onto your landing page or your website page. They will start to appear in this in this section here. Now, it's important to know that not all websites are set up like this. I have metadata on my site where I have several images that can populate in here. If you have a website and you don't have any pictures or you have one picture, it's not gonna populate. So find one that actually populates your, uh, your carousel post. Once you have your images in here, you can actually delete this link um, and just put any sort of text or copy that you want in the post. Now, here's how you add more images and actually delete the ones that are from your website. So at the very bottom, you'll see available images here. You can actually delete the ones that you don't want, only have two if you want to, or show others, move these around in here, place one before the next one, etc. You can also now have the option to upload images from your computer by clicking the plus sign that's there um, that you didn't have options to before. So if I want to upload this one here, I can upload that. Um, if I want to then upload another image, I can go ahead and upload another image in here. I can upload this image and click open. And then if I want to go ahead and uh, unselect the others that are there because I just want my own images that weren't on my website then now I've I've got a carousel post with both those images that are just present on my on my uh, from my desktop um, let's talk about working with this carousel post and editing it so 
Uh, from here, you can click the destination URL link and actually change this to whatever you want. Each carousel card can have a separate link that you want to uh, go to. Um, you can also change the header of this one um, to have custom text within each card. So now this one would say something different and this one would say something you know completely separate from that. Once you do this, um, then you can go ahead and share it on your Facebook page um, and post it, uh, post it there. So now that you've done this, if you go back to the Facebook business page where you actually posted this and you hit refresh, you should be able to see the carousel post that shows up and you can scroll through it, click every single card that goes to your website or specific uh, URL uh, and scroll all the way through it. Now I wanna answer some common questions based on the questions that I got in the previous two videos um, and answer some concerns as well. So let's start by addressing a few of these. Uh, um, can you boost this post? Can you promote it? Uh, and the answer to this question is uh, no. If you want to create a carousel post on your Facebook page that is also an ad, you need to go through Ads Manager and actually create a carousel ad and allocate ad budget to that so that you can promote it. I know that you will have this boost button here. In a lot of pages though, this boost button is going to be um, disconnected. It's gonna say, unavailable to boost and even if it does say boost here when you click it and go through the process it's going to fail every single time it's going to say this post is not supported and the reason for that is because facebook actually has a carousel objective that you can choose from or a carousel creative i'm sorry that you can choose from when creating an ad okay second question i want to address is that um what happens if something changes? Uh, is this always going to be allowed? And the question, the answer to that is, I don't know. Uh, previous videos of mine, we had very many angry comments from people saying Facebook's unfair, yada, yada, yada. You know, it's tough, right? It's their platform. They can choose to do whatever they want. This process has changed quite a bit during, you know, the last few years. They may allow it. They may not allow it. Um, but as of right now, this is what's working, okay? Uh, other option, other question, other question uh, that I get a lot is, um, can I create a carousel post without a link? I just want to put an image on here. Fortunately, uh, there isn't a way to do that right now, at least not a way that I found. If you do it through this method, which is only seems to be the only way that's working, uh, you're going to have to tie in a URL uh, of some sort to each card. Okay, um, so um, tie in whatever, you know, send people to your YouTube channel, send them, you know, wherever you want to send them, but you're going to have to create and tie it into a URL. You can't leave it blank when you're setting it up or it just won't go through. Another question that I get is, um, there's always this end card that's got my my Facebook uh, business page profile picture on it. Can I remove it? The answer is no. You can't remove it in this in this situation. You can remove it when you're creating ads and not show this, but when you're posting it this way organically, uh, there's no way around that. I haven't found a way to remove that card. Another question that I get is. Um, can I do it on Android? Can I do it on my mobile phone? Uh, the answer to that is, I don't know. Give it a try and see if you can. Um, right now, I use most of my postings on, on desktop um, and things that are mobile, I just do strictly mobile stuff. So I don't know if this will work for you on mobile. Give it a shot. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. And the last question that I'm gonna answer on this is, um, one that's always asked as well, can I add more than, I think, six images? I'm not sure if it allows you for 10 images or six. I can't remember exactly what it is. Uh, but the answer is whatever limitation it's got, it's got. So if it only lets you upload six images, you can't upload 20 images to it. If you want to upload carousels that are unlimited, like you see on Wish or Amazon, sometimes these advertisers that have scrolls of unlimited carousels, then you need to create an ad and you need to tie it into a Facebook catalog in order to create those kind of carousel. And usually those are tied to an ad. Um, with that being said, uh, hopefully this was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing to the channel, and I'll talk to you guys on the next video.